Taking a new step towards improving transparency in the European Union, the Parliament has decided to shine a brighter light on lobbying activities in Brussels. MEPs voted Tuesday to strengthen the so-called Mandatory Transparency Register, which means that now, for the first time, the EU Council and its representatives must make meetings with interest groups public. In Brussels, there are almost 12,500 registered lobbying groups, making the Belgian capital the second largest for lobbying activities, just behind Washington. From NGOs like Greenpeace to big tech companies like Google, they all try to influence legislation that's being made in Brussels. According to the EU's transparency register, these 10 organisations, including Microsoft and Facebook, hold the most meetings with the Commission, showing that business and tech interests dominate in Brussels. The Parliament and the Commission have already been registering their meetings for years, but just on a voluntary basis. And under the new rules, this will continue, even if the MEP in charge says that it will now be essentially mandatory to register. We call this register for the first time mandatory because we think that we closed uh, probably most of the loops that existed. And now we have, uh, I think, more guarantee that practically without being registered, you cannot do your uh, um, lobbyist uh, work. But for Transparency International, an organisation which aims to tackle global corruption, the agreement isn't enough. They ask for a mandatory register affecting everyone who participates in the lawmaking process. If we're talking about a mandatory transparency register, we're saying that there's no possibility for people that are not registered to engage with our policymakers. So, and quite simply, it would be that if you want to meet any person, whether in the council, commission, or, uh, or parliament, that is uh, drafting or helping to draft or helping to shape policy that will impact 500 million people. If you meet any of those people, you have to be registered and all of those meetings have to be published in a manner that people can easily access and easily understand. The main goal is for more transparency so that European citizens know just who is behind the legislation that affects their lives. Chris Whippage's Euronews, Brussels.